what's up? Welcome back. A little bit of y'all craft time. Y'all craft. Yup, yup. Here, use those. You'll love them. They're really good. You're a slime ball. <laughs> they give you jump boosts. You're blue. Should I eat them? No, and slowness. Don't. I don't want it. So look you, at that, you guys. Ooh. We had a we had a bit of an issue, and I think Guns wants to make sure that you guys know this if you're playing oh, Yawcraft. Yeah, yeah. So I did. Guns and I did a bunch of building. Okay, mm. and we put a bunch of stuff together. We played a few episodes, and I got a Nether Star from a Chance Cube, I believe. Right? Yeah, yeah. I think it was a Chance Cube. So yep. I'm like, hey, you've been waiting for this. Build your portal gun. Well, at the end of that episode, we built. He built a portal gun, and mm -hmm. as happened? soon as I shot it, I shot the first one up here on the mountain near our mountain home, and then I shot the other one. I was down at the the ground home there, the main base. Just on the dirt. As soon as I shot that second one, server crashed, and we couldn't actually get back in. We actually had to revert the uh, the server back to like days or last. It, it went back session. like five episodes. So we've eliminated the portal gun for now. We can't get it to work. If you haven't tried it yet, don't because don't you may lose it. your entire world. So it was so bad, you guys. I was yeah. in a server over here building, and he was doing mm -hmm. that. And yeah. when it did it. It didn't crash my game. It literally just closed out Minecraft. Like, bam, I was at my desktop like, uh, what just happened? So yeah, I, yeah. I went to go back in. I could spawn in, see where I'm standing. Then it crashed. It Instant yeah, crash. Yeah. Nothing we could do. It, was, it corrupted the save. Yeah, so don't use the portal guns, even if you still have it in Whatever there. Whatever reason, be... yeah, it did that. So yeah. basically had to come back in and rebuild what I built already. Yeah, yeah. Which, you know, this was all gone. My uh, power wheels were gone. So, it, no, no, not that big of a deal. No. We're back to here. So, this yeah. is, you guys, this is like the beginnings of us providing ourselves with power other than generators and coal. So, we got three windmills up here. We got yeah, exactly. Our transformers, our capacitors, and we can, this area here could actually link over and power up the mountain. And yeah, we just run some lines across. True story and some relays. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. down there, we've got three water wheels right now for power, as well as I set up a little thing here that I'll show you guys. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. A little yeah. automation. A lot of you guys had asked, you know, wanted me to automate my farm as well as to upgrade the tier seeds. Well, I kind of did both in one with the help of someone, and I will show you that down there later Very on. cool. It's and you got berries too, because oh, it's yeah. a great food. Yeah, let's walk this way. Follow me. It's a if I could limp, you know, you ever seen that like Bride of Frankenstein walk this way and he's like limps away? Oh, and oh, so they oh. start limping behind him. You get it? Walk, yeah. walk this way. <laughs> like, why do we have to walk that way? I don't know oh. if it was Bride of Frankenstein or which one that was, but Hey, where'd you go? Oh, we gotta go this way. <laughs> what? Oh, we forgot. <laughs> We forgot. Look, it reverted oh, back to all of our portals yeah. that we made. Dude, what happened? This... All of oh your portals God. that you did are gone, dude. I yeah, forgot about well, that part. That's easy enough to fix. No, but you know what? I was upset with the portals. I didn't like where we went. No, no. You were like, I don't like this place. It looks stupid. So here we got the berry farm. So we got blueberries, we got blackberries, we got raspberries, and we also got mallow berries. Oh, and is that here, what this is? Oh, mallow berries. Yeah, and here you can come in here with your barrels. What the heck's a mallow berry? Is that even a real berry? It looks like a mango of some kind. Look at the raspberries. So you got your barrels in here. You got your bowls in here. And here is what you want to do. Two bowls with a raspberry, a mallow berry, blueberry, and blackberry will give you a berry medley, which is good with saturation. Yeah, saturation is amazing. So you this, don't have to eat as much. That's a, that's a food station. What? That's a that food cool. station. That's my favorite station. The rest of the stuff is goobly gawk technological stuff. True but that story. does look cool. That, Doesn't that? This does look cool. I had to redo it a second time, but I think it looks better the second time around. It does. Yep, yep. Three water so, wheels coming out, going up to um, transformers, and then into some uh, capacitors up there. But that's it for now. I haven't like decided where I want to route that stuff later on. But it's it looks there. Looks like a hydroelectric dam. It is. That's what it's supposed to be. It's like Hoover like Dam. Like Niagara Falls. Hoover Dam. 
Hoover, damn. You. <laughs> Wait, you got your you got your hang glider on, dude. That's just in case I want to walk this way. Walk this way. Oh, you're, yeah. you're kicking your feet like they had flippers on. I'm a big swimmer. All right, so we got our seed reprocessor up here now, so I can actually process up to higher tiered level of seeds. Okay, so what does that do? I don't even, honestly, I don't know. Okay. I, I never pay attention. Well, if you want to go into, um, like... Say, I've been growing Inferium seeds, tier one. Oh, you got Superium Essence, right? Right, if we want to grow something better, you know, you got to reprocess the seeds. And say you want to grow diamonds or something, you need to use yeah, the yeah. seed reprocessor up here to do that. Okay. You got your tinker table there. But what? So what would you put in the seed reprocessor then, or processor? It depends on, on what you're going to... What the heck is that? Is that thing working now, your auto-feed thing? Yes. How did that work? You couldn't figure it out last time, and now all of a sudden, I, all here. Because I had the wrong wrong type of biscuits. There was oh. three different type of biscuits. There was biscuits that looked like cookies. There was yeah. biscuits that looked like biscuits. There was biscuits and gravy. And now did, I really what, wanted what to he? pick the biscuits and gravy, but it's <laughs> biscuits that look like cookies, right? Okay. So you take your biscuits that look like cookies, and Just put them in your inventory. You put them in your feed bag. And you you have to have a feed bag? No, you don't have to, but say you have oh. two pets. Yeah, yeah. Or three pets or four pets. Instead of yeah, having yeah. each food up in your inventory, you put the foods in the feed bag and the pets oh, feed okay. from the feed bag. So they're feeding, but are they feeding you then? Because that's supposed to be like give you energy. Okay, like, so actually... Pac-Man, he auto eats when you, he makes you auto eat when you're hungry. And okay. if you right click, it says super damage boost. And his favorite yeah. food is biscuits. And then okay. I've got the Anvil Pet, which slowly auto repairs damage items in your inventory. And that's working. And that's the that's the the Anvil sound you hear. Oh. Okay. And then when you hear okay. Wonka Wonka Wonka, that's the Pac Man. Okay, I haven't heard the Wonka feedback. Wonka yet. Wonka Wonka Wonka. Wonka Wonka Wonka. So wonka, these wonka, things wonka, wonka, will wonka, slowly wonka, wonka, wonka. get repaired by the uh, Anvil Pet. All right, so that's this right here. This is the area how we get through. I'll end up, you know, going in through this way to manage the upper dam area. Hoover Dam. So this is like our Ender IO section, right? Which I needed. I needed the um, the we had the alloy smelter, the generator, and the crafter all over in that corner. I moved them here and added the splice and slice so I could make what I made out there. I'll show you in a minute. And Whoever we found smelter these, delter. You found these cool lanterns from Immersive Engineering when we were doing the windmill. Yeah, yeah, so we yeah. got some of these lanterns around. They don't even need power, though, right? There, yeah, there's two styles. There's this one that's like glowstone, basically. And then there's yeah, the yeah. other one, which is all black, and it looks more like a lantern, which needs but power. These light up like glowstone, but the ones that need power light up way more. Yeah. Like they're oh, yeah. much yeah. brighter. These are like the easy. If you're going to do a lot yeah. of them, do these. And you don't have to yeah. have wires everywhere. So this is our like little immersive engineering area. I mean, uh, Ender IO area here, and I had to make Whoa. this area. Oh, it's very fancy. Tinkers, dude! I just heard. Oh, did you hear <laughs> the wah wah? Dude, you're just constant. All I hear is ping, ping, ping. Wait, oh, wait, oh, waka, waka, waka. They're little pets. They're inventory pets. You guys use oh them. God. They're fun. So Use them. this is our this is where we're gonna begin our delve into Tinker's construct, which is a favorite of a lot of people because like the what there's the variety of what you can make, the materials in which you can make it with, and then the additions and add-ons that you can do, and then as you use them, they actually rank. It's pretty cool, you know, watching your tool or your sword or whatever rank up. So. Yeah, yeah. Once you get going on it, it's like I did it. I used Tinkers a while back in one of my playthroughs. And people are like, hey, use Tinkers. You know, of course, then I got into it like 10 episodes deep and I was like having fun. I was like, oh, enough with Tinkers. Like, this is what it takes to do Tinkers, you know? Things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. It takes time and you have to really work through it. And once you get going on it, it's fun. But anyway, I need to. Um, I just got the stuff set up to make these paper mattocks right now, which is necessary for that out there. 
which I haven't shown yet. Oh, you haven't shown that. Hey, just as a side note, side if note. you ever come, if you ever come across rice, don't throw it away. I want the rice. Okay, rice. Rice. I'm going to be making it because this berry medley is delicious, and there's a rice dish. It's a cur. It's a rainbow curry. Ooh. And it's it's even more drumsticks and more saturation. More saturation. You like rice. Rice, rice, baby. <laughs> saturation. Rice, oh, rice, good. baby. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah. Oh, so much saturation across the nation. So we'll we'll get we'll let guns do this. The tinkers will be his thing. He'll be pouring. He'll be pouring out templates of doom. I'll be peeing in it, seeing what kind of stuff and delicious treats I can make. Basically, what you do is you make templates, right? These, if you look oh, at this, yeah, yeah. the stencil table here, you can make yeah. templates, right? Yeah. And then once you make the templates, you'll end up making like a a, but, a bronze alloy template of some kind and put it here. Then you can pour in metal, different metals to make your you know tool rods and stuff like that you have to and you got to make a cast right like a boat yeah. like the bowlin cast right in here and then you'll, you'll end up casting it out in onto here and it'll pour ah. out and then you'll make tool rods and you have to make the alloys in this smelter here different alloys and then so I, I gotta learn stuff then you can do the part builder and then you got the tool forge and you can add you can repair and modify your tools in here yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I want bows and stuff like that. Bows and bows and bows and... Let me see something here real quick. So I've got... I got some papermatic stuff in here. Did you say papermatic? What? Papermatic? Paper. Paper tool, paper axe head. So the papers actually doesn't last long, but it... What is it? it has certain things that you use it for, right? Yeah, like there's good. things there's things that you can do, right? There's things that you can do with it. And I that's the part of, of it that I don't understand. It's like why someone would use slime or cactus or paper over obsidian or diamond, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's the traits that each like that the material has, it's the traits that it has. And that you can add these different traits to it, like putting stuff in here. You would put different ingots in here and make it possibly unbreakable. Possibly. You like unbreakable? All right. Let's, so the stencil table, I put a blank pattern in. Okay. Is that what I do? No, yeah, I put the no you put pattern. the blank pattern in. Then you, you can click on any of these things over here. Like if you yeah, don't yeah. know what it is, click on it. And then cl then just put your mouse over. Oh, that's a the bowling, bowling pattern. As long as yeah. you don't take it out of there, you can click another one like that. You can just keep clicking around okay, to see what I it gotcha, is. I gotcha. I gotcha. But once you take it out, you just made that temp. Now those stencils are just two sticks and two planks. They're easy to make if you mess up. Yeah, it's not yeah, that big yeah. of a deal. That stuff is easy. It's when you start casting your templates, you're using your your alloys and stuff. And Does it even show how to make like if this is a basic bowling pattern using the the wood? How yeah. do I make these ones that are like uh, clay cast or these other things? Like I guess I I have to I can't use this. I got to actually make a clay cast out of it. Yeah, check this out. Okay. Look at that. So they put a book oh, the in the game with like a hundred oh, and something was... pages, and it's extensive. What? Oh and my it, goodness! But you go so in there and reading. you're like, "Oh, I want to make this." It'll show you like what you need to do, where yeah, you yeah, do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. And then if you come down here, like to the part builder and tool forge and stuff, you can see this is where you, the here in the part builder is where you put your stencil. Yeah, yeah. So this part builder is right here. Oh, not the tool forge. No, the though. part Listen builder. Here, part you build. put your yeah, stencil yeah. in there, and then yeah. whatever it takes to make. Like, if I want to take, I want like to make a clay cast. I'm going to make what a I'm tool talking? rod, right? And yeah, I'm yeah. Get, and I'm going to make a paper tool rod. So I'm going to put in the stencil, and then you start yeah. to put in paper. It tells you your material value, like how much you have to put in there. And then okay. there, there's the there's the paper tool rod. And, bang, 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 bang. and then you can go into your parts builder and you can see in here I'm actually building a matic and then I want to be able to put I want to make this thing unbreakable because it's paper and I got to put that stuff in here and it will add features to it to make it 
uh, mine faster, make it unbreakable, make it this, make it, all kinds of different stuff. It's like emeralds or obsidian or whatever. Yeah, and yeah. You'll literally see like a little dot on your tool where you've added all these different things. So uh, you can kind of look at it and say, oh, yeah. And you know, if I okay. want to make one of the longbows, it'll show me the parts I need to make for that bow Exa in this tool forge. Exactly. Look, if I take this stuff out and you want to make a, like a longbow... Oh. Yeah, yeah. Right, you see, I just clicked it, and it shows yeah, you. Yeah. You need a string, you need two of whatever those things are, and you need that dude's head. Bow limbs, large plate, And that's all, that's all in, in the stencil table. So you'd make right. it out of the stencil table. But you might want to make it out of some sort of alloy. So once you make the stencil and you do all that, then we got to get it to where we can pour um, over here, and we'll make stencils no. out of an alloy. Now, where do I put, like, the, the image was showing this thing gets filled with all sorts of alloys. Like, where do I add the right, metals? Right-click on the controller there. What's the control? Right oh, in the middle there. there. Okay, yeah. That, so, you just add metals in there? You see the thing on the left side? So it might say, okay, yeah. you need two gold and one iron. So you do two gold, one iron, and that will create a certain alloy. Right? Once right. that alloy is made... It'll tell you, all right, you've got, say, 10 buckets of that alloy. And yeah. you know you only need eight buckets to do what you want to do over here. So then you would, you say, okay, I got 10 in there. I got eight. I'm going to put this uh, stencil down. Right click on the drain. It pours it. It'll take it out of here and pour it out and make your stencil. So it's like oh, you want to use up that stuff. There's also a tank you can make oh, where well. you can store more stuff. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. It's got all the lists and everything of stuff that you can make. Yeah. Tool but that materials. the book is pretty good. It's pretty good. Oh boy, that's a lot of reading. I'll have to do that at night. Exactly. While you're sleeping. I'm gonna listen to it. <laughs> now, I was gonna hope <laughs> that you were gonna close it. I know, I know. All right, come over here. Last thing, you guys, for showing you guys. I love the farm, dude, Barry Medley. So this here, if you look up there, it's called the Gears Farm. Gears. And Gears is the one who came up with this design and helped me out. So first off, what we have over here, and it's actually, you guys, listen, extra utilities and Ender I.O. stuff is really easy to make. You know, if you've got copper and gold, redstone, stuff like that, you're going to be able to make all this stuff. It's, it's not super complicated as far as uh, resources and materials go. So we've got these survival generators as a good starter here. And because, you know, these are designed with so many, um, I think they're... What are they used for, though? What are these survival generators? Okay, so like? they're, po they're, they're power, right? Now, on the back side, you can see I got the energy conduits, okay. which going over to this basic capacitor bank here. Right? Yeah, yeah. And yep. then out of the basic capacitor bank on the back is going underneath the farm. Okay. okay? And it's yep. le leading over. Dang it, dang it, dang. It's leading over here to the farming station. So the farming right. station is being powered up by the survival generators, energy conduit, right? And they're just using coal and stuff, just right? Just coal, yeah. It's basic. It's like you're, that's like the first furnace you'd build. <laughs> was was. It I just, yeah, you're just, you're, you're, you're just making tools. so much noise all the time. Okay, How so, come you can't use this power though? Like this does unlimited. Well, you might be able to, right? Oh. But th this is like a standalone unit, and the idea behind yeah, yeah. it is, once I get some more materials, I can expand this by putting a bigger capacitor in here. So you put a bigger capacitor in here, it'll expand this from seven by seven to all the way out to here, fifteen by fifteen. So what, what is it doing? It's collecting... Well, right now it's like, not doing anything because I don't have the Matic, okay? I don't have the Matic going. But, I, I mean, I could grab one of those. It'll be a one-time use until I get the Unbreakable one. Let me grab one. What does it do? Like, these things are supposed to be automatically plucking the flower, the inferior. Well, and, and it's I don't have a tool currently yeah. in there, right? Um, let me get two at least. Because they, they're instantly gone with this paper. Oh, okay. You know? Do, do, well, do, do, so do. you need to make one that's a lot stronger well, than Well, I need papers. to make it unbreakable. Yeah, yeah. And I, and Does I it just, have to be paper or? Well, 
He had told me to use paper, and I'm sure it's for a reason. That's why I said I don't. I don't really. I never got behind why you use this over that. Like, why wouldn't I just make an obsidian one? Well, paper has traits that make mm. it good. All right, so I'm gonna put this matic in here, right? Yeah. Okay, so you see, it just did that. I'd yeah, probably yeah, yeah. Put it. Yeah, see, put it in there. That one. Oh, uh, they planted broken. the seeds already. There goes that. There. Now you can see. It's yeah, got. It's... It just collected the seeds. Yeah. See yeah. in the barrel. Yeah. yeah. If you get yeah, yeah. close enough, you'll see it says Inferium Essence. Oh, would you knock it off with all your stupid pets? Sorry. All right. So we have Back a broken chest, yeah. matic. So you can see these are instantly broken. That's why I need unbreaking on them. But once I have this made into unbreaking, I put it in here, it will automate and just run. It's just going to run. Now, if I look at the what I got here, I've got Inferium Essence. 16 of them. What's weird is... Hold on. So you got to figure out how to make that thing unbreakable because right now it's not like terribly efficient. I put efficient. in Inferium Seeds Tier 4 and it's giving me regular Essence. That's Again, people are like, why don't you do, why don't you do the better... Seeds, but look, you guys, I made them. I went and spent a lot of my resources on tier four inferium seeds, and it just grows inferior essence. All right, I'm doing something wrong then. Oh, yeah, tier four. So, bang, 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 bang. anyway, so that's that's the basic thing that the farming station will do once it places them, it grows, and that Maddox in there, it'll see that these are fully grown, it'll cut these, throw them up into the barrel, and then it'll barrel. just keep collecting them automatically now we got to make sure that there's 22 in there all right so the t on top of that is a vacuum chest so let's say that by doing this maybe coins drop maybe something else drops some random loot and it's just sitting on the ground here the farming station's not going to collect that up but that vacuum chest up top will it'll collect oh, anything okay. that's laying okay. around here it'll just suck it up in there now if you're wondering what these things are these are mechanical users right as well as we've got, I got transfer nodes right there, and I've got filter nodes, our transfer filters on the side with uh, water and can filter in it. What this basically does is it'll take a water can. You can see it's filling this one up. It's going to reference this block of water, fill a can. When the can gets filled, it because the way that the transfer filters and the, these transfer nodes are set up, it will take the full can, bring it over, and put it in this user here in this upper left-hand block and water this area. When the can is empty, it will then transfer it back out over to here and fill it back up, and it'll do it for each one of them. So there's one watering can oh, in each yeah. mechanical yeah, yeah. user, and there's one can that gets filled and moved over. So, like, this will be filled, then the next fill will go here, then the next fill will go here, the next fill will go there, and it just keeps... It's watering, which makes it grow faster. It's like using the growth accelerators, right? Except I'm using a, a regular watering can. And that's what that upper design is. So pretty straightforward design. Once I get to the point where I've got the Matic in here, this thing will be running. Also, once I get the capa put a capacitor in there, it'll expand it all the way out to this whole oh, really? 15 by 15 area. That's why it's set up the way it is. You don't need to have these things come out all the way here. They just automatically do it in that area, right? Well, you could. You could expand. You would possibly expand them out over but this is a this is a start for it and yeah, yeah. You, you don't really need this but these will help things grow faster you know and yeah, it's, yeah. it's part of like it look if you're going to automate you're going to automate but the problem i still have is i made these tier four seeds and it's just planting yes. regular inferium i did that before i made some seeds and i planted over here and it screwed up that's why i'm like everybody's like why don't you grow higher tier stuff and i'm like i tried before and i like, all right, I'll do it again. I just did it again. It didn't work. So I'll have to look into that and see what the deal with that is. I made the tier. I made a tier two and planted it and it made regular essence. Good. You have a ton here, eh? Yeah. Tons. Yeah, tons. Now, one thing I can do here is I could put like, I could probably put like those vacuum uh, chests over here if I want or something like that, which would help you pick all this stuff up. You know what I mean? And see, so sometimes Power it up. when I do this, it. It flies down into the water. Yeah, yeah. So what are you doing? You're doing right click I'm on right that? clicking. Yeah. See how that one went down the water. Yeah, Once yeah, you go in the yeah, water, yeah. you gotta go back around because if you jump on that, you're gonna break the soil. 
And then you got to use the hoe. Ho! I think there's a pet. There might be a pet, too, that will magnet magnet things into you. Ooh, really? I think. Yeah, I think there might be a pet. Let's see. Let's so see if you're pet. going and going through there and doing that, the pet will suck it all up into your inventory. Magnet, which in the fight is not super amazing. No, because it's going to – you're going to suck up all the bad stuff, man. Yeah, it's not going to be super amazing. Why you It do scares that? away creepers. There's a uh, ocelots. Catches fish near water and scares away creepers and gives you night vision. What? Ocelot. ocelot. That's a pretty good pretty good pet. You're an ocelot. Creepers always kill me. Creeper. All right, you guys. So we wanted to do one episode where we kind of just showed you around, catch you up to speed with what we've done. You know, we did stuff. We had to redo stuff. And while we were on a roll, we just kept doing stuff. Hours and hours in here of funness. Oh, what's Funness. This? What? Oh, yeah, you forgot the... Hello! Boom! You have a big chest there. <laughs> You'd be that cool if, if you could route stuff into this. Oh, yeah. That would be awesome. It's like, all right, because it's it's big, you guys. It's, That's it's the really vacuum. big. There's yeah, a you scroll down. There's a slider on this bad boy. Like, if I put one there and there... Mm-hmm. And there... You, there's a lot. I don't even know. I guess you could have to like drop it in here like this. Drop it like it's hot. <laughs> There's a lot of spaces in there. Shield wall. That barely even moved it. Did you see how far down I still went? Oh my gosh. <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh yeah. It's it's a giant chest of goodness. I can't wait to put random crap in it that will drive you nuts. Well, I may or may not have made this for you that you can put everything that you want in there. <laughs> it's like, good luck finding it. <laughs> All right, you guys, that's going to do it for this episode. We'll see you next time.